Good morning, students. Um, in this video, we'll quickly go through Multisim Live, how to get started, and how you can use it in simulating some electrical circuits. Um, let, us, uh, let us start that with this circuit. We want to measure the current and the voltage across the resistor here and the current, the total current in the circuit. So it's a very simple circuit, 100 and 400, 400 and 20, 100 ohms, 10 volt. Let us start by going to Multisim website. And from Multisim website, you need to uh, sign up. In my case, I already signed up and I will just log in with my account. And here, log in. So the first thing you need to do is to go through create a circuit. And you, when you create circuit, you will end up with the page, with the schematic page. Here, the schematic page. So we have the schematic page, we have the graph page, or we have the split, the schematic and the graph page. So we only use schematic page in this case here. So what do we have here? We have um, uh, in here uh, the file navigation menu. You can save and you can export the image later on or the schematic to an image file. We, we will use it later on. Then we have here, if you type here, you can add some description. You can rename the file here, let's say like test one. And it will change here at this one, the name of the file. Okay, let us now start by connecting our circuit. Our circuit is like a thin volt. So from where we can get this um, passive components, we will see here, we have the resistors in here, passives, you can have resistors, capacitors, inductors, and we have here the sources. So we will pick a voltage source, DC voltage source, I will zoom in by clicking here. I will zoom in. Then I will connect the ground in here. So how we do the connection, I'll show you. I will pick a resistor now. And by hovering over the terminal here you can connect the components together uh, you can move it up now we want to change this value to 100 ohm how are you going to do that double click and you can name it it's r1 the value is 100 ohm dc volt double click on the dc volt so that's the value here is 10 volt and it is thus called E. Then I want another resistor. You click on the resistor and in here you can copy the resistor, you can rotate the resistor. So I will just copy one resistor here. Then I will click here to rotate it. And this resistor is 400 ohm. Just click here 400 ohm. Now I connect this resistor in here. And they have another resistor, which is 400 ohm as well. I'll just copy it, place it here, and now connect the resistor in here. We will connect to the ground, and we connect the other resistor in here. Now the circuit is ready. If you want to get rid of the ground, of the, uh, um, the grid here, in the background, you just click outside, you go here and take the grid here and it's clear now. The circuit is clear without any uh, ground uh, grids. Okay, so let us see. So this is the circuit that we want to um, connect 100, 400, 400 and 200 resistor in here. So let us go back and connect the 400 resistor or 200 resistor in here i will just copy it 
drag and connect it here. Value is 200 form. Now, I think it is ready. Just to make sure, yeah, it's correct. Now let us, now if you want to measure the voltage and the current, if you go here, we will see that we have um, analysis and annotations. We clicked on it, we can have voltage props, we can have a current props, we can have voltage and current props, and voltage reference and digital and annotations. I will take the first one, the current prop. I will click on it and drag it and click in here. And I will type in here IR1. I R1. Also, I need a voltage measurement. I would grab the voltage prop from here or the voltage sensor. I will connect it to this side here. You see? Then I need now when I when we connect the voltage, we need two terminals, two leads. One to the red to the positive, and I will add the reference. You see here, this is the V minus, which is the add reference prop. I will just drag it, left click and drag it and place it here. Now I'm measuring the voltage across this resistor from here and here. Let us run the circuit. To run the circuit, you go to here, run simulation. When we run it, we can see now that the current flowing in the circuit is 20 milliamp and the voltage across this resistor is 4 volt. Now, if we did not connect the reference across the resistor here, the reference prop, what will happen? It will measure the voltage across with reference to this ground here, and which is incorrect. So if you want to measure again, let us do another measurements. Let us measure the current flowing in here. And we run the circuit. Because the, the total current is 20 milliamp, we expect that we get 10 milliamp in here. Yes, so we have 10 milliamp here and 10 milliamp here because it's um, the same uh, the same value of the resistors here. Okay, let's stop this. Let us add another voltage probe to measure the voltage across this resistor R4, and it will drag the reference to here. We run the circuit. We can see that the voltage here is 4 volt, and we have 4 volt here, and we expect to get a 2 volt here. So the total voltage across the series uh, in, in this loop here will be 10 volt. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much. And if you have any question, uh, please send email. Thank you. Bye-bye.